I was talking to my dad recently about how amazing it is in how brief a time that smartphones have become these incredibly powerful mini computers that we can take on the go. And the simple degree of access that we have to information now is just simply unprecedented. And this is, of course, I think particularly relevant for students, especially medical students, because if you think about the size of some of the tomes, like a copy of Gray's Anatomy or medical physiology textbooks, you've seen how big they are, you would have had to carry those around, but no longer. Which brings us to the theme of today's video. I'm going to be talking about five of my favourite smartphone apps for medical students that you can take on the wards with you. So let's get the obvious one out of the way first. You all knew this one was coming. At Warwick Medical School, I can guarantee you that there is always a conversation about Anki being had somewhere. This completely free and open source app allows you to create and share your own flashcard decks which you can then study at customizable rates according to their spaced repetition algorithm. If you get the answer right immediately, it goes to the back of the deck and you won't see it for a little while. But if it's something that you're struggling with a bit more, you'll see it more often. It'll float back to the top of the deck so it becomes ingrained in your memory that little bit easier. My favourite part of Anki is that it synchronises between your desktop PC and mobile device, particularly when combined with one of the many free plugins available for the program, my favourite being the image occlusion tool. If you want to learn more about Anki, I made a full video on how to get started and use it effectively, but let's move on for now. So let's move on to number two. This is the Geeky Medics app, and at least in the UK, I think the Geeky Medics are probably best known for their fantastic free OSCE video series. And their app essentially brings the content of their website into a more convenient package for carrying on the go. So imagine, on the ward, your consultant is coming, you have mere minutes until they're with you, and you've forgotten how to do an effective cardiovascular exam. Hop into the app and the full processes are there waiting for you. Not only that, but there are copious notes on data interpretation, communication skills, and clinical pathologies too, ensuring that you'll basically never be caught short on the ward again. Now, unfortunately, to unlock the best content the app has to offer, it does require a $4.99 per year subscription, but I've found that the free content makes the app worth having. Now, the third item I'm going to talk about today is MD Calc. Apparently used by over 1 million practicing medical professionals, MD Calc essentially contains a load of useful algorithms, things like dosing calculators, risk score calculators, things that are going to make your life just that little bit easier. Do note that while this program is technically designed with American medical graduates in mind, I've had absolutely no problems using it here in the UK. It works perfectly offline as well as online, and I really like the fact that you can save your most used tools to customise lists, which makes switching between specialties or interests a breeze. And I love how in-depth the app is as well. If we have a look at the Glasgow Coma Scale, for example, not only can you input the values and have it spit out a total at the end, MD Calc actually provides next steps and clinical management advice, as well as some notes from those involved in making the scales, which is really interesting. Now for number four, I'm sure you all know by now that I love me some clinical anatomy, and I use 3 d Four medicals Complete Anatomy Package literally every single day on my desktop PC. I love this program enough that I actually reached out and became a rep at Warwick Medical School for the Complete Anatomy software, and their mobile app brings all the power of the desktop version right into your smartphone. You can visualize every single layer of the body in fantastic detail, zoom in and look at parts and surfaces of bones, and you can even access their fantastic suite of lectures through this app on the go, which is really useful when you want to brush up on your regional or systemic anatomy knowledge. My favorite features are watching muscle actions, then using the software to highlight the innovation pathway for those muscles, as well as using the cut and fracture simulators to demonstrate clinical pathology. Better still, if you already own the desktop version, this one only cost me $8.99, which for the power you get in the package is absolutely well worth it. And number five on this list is Teach Me Anatomy, and as with Geeky Medics, it's kind of a more mobile-friendly, graphical interface version of their website designed for taking on the go with you. Don't be fooled by the simple appearance, however, because once you pick a system to look at, and a, a subsystem to look at, I guess, it's in enormous detail, you'll find more notes than you could ever want. It's really, really in-depth. There are quizzes you can use to test your anatomical knowledge. It's really easy to set favorites to access them quickly from the home page. And there's also a search function for finding structures relevant to multiple systems if you need to. 
Best of all, this app is free, and as far as I can tell, buying the Pro version, which costs £4.79, I think off the top of my head, only removes ads. So basically you're getting all the content the app has to offer right from the get-go. So that's it guys, the end of my roundup of five fantastic apps I think every medical student should have with them. If you've got suggestions of your own, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. Which brings us to the end guys, thank you so much for watching, please be sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and make sure notifications are turned on. You can find me on social media or on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all links for those are in the description below. Make sure you go and check out my website postgradmedic.com for my daily blog of med school life at Warwick and more free videos just like this one. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.